Um, what is it that you're here to do today? Uh, come along to uh, officially confirm who scored the first ever league goal in world history uh, and it's a result of uh, research which I undertook for my book which is called The Origins of the Football League and I did that research in conjunction with a friend of mine who works at the British Library, Robert Boiling and what we've managed to be able to verify is that the first goal scored by a Bolton Wanderers player called Kenny Davenport at 3.47pm on Saturday the 8th of September 1888. I mean you can't really get much bigger than the first goal, first league goal in world history. The advent of league football was what significantly changed the status of football. Until then there were a series of high profile friendlies and there were FA Cup games but there was nothing like the regular Saturday or midweek game in which teams compete against each other often of the same sorts of levels of football uh, playing, playing against, uh, against each other. Gordon, uh, what, what's the reasons behind you being at the Reebok Stadium today? Well, there's um, a journalist, Mark Metcalf, he did a book on Charlie Hurley, who was a um, great player, Millwall, Sunderland, Bolton Wanderers. He's a football historian, and, and this year it's the 125-year uh, anniversary of the foundation of the Football League in 1888, when William McGregor got uh, the 12 clubs together, a lot from the North West, of course, Bolton, Blackburn, Preston, Burnley, Accrington. Etc. The Industrial Revolution took place in the Northwest, and factory workers started to get their afternoons off. Professional football began. They've been researching the actual authenticated first goal scorer ever in the professional football game, which is quite a task. So it's been a bit like an Agatha Christie thriller because there was talk of it being an own goal in a Wolverhampton Wanderers Aston Villa game. Then there was talk of Jack Gordon, of the Preston, the Preston game, then I know there was a Fred Dewhurst. But research now shows, from, with the help of the British Library, that um, the Kenny Davenport, a local man, uh, scored two goals very quickly in the Bolton Wanderers v Derby County game um, on that very first day. The aim now is to gain uh, the support to get a plaque put up for Kenny Davenport. Uh, there is a plaque in Liverpool which commemorates the guy who invented the goal net. Obviously Kenny Davenport didn't kick the ball into the goal net because there weren't goal nets until 1892. But nevertheless he scored the first goal. It's a big, big moment. He was also Bolton Wanderers' first full England international. Clearly a class act, clearly a good goal scorer. No knowledge as to actually what the, how the goal was scored. Uh, all we know is it was scored in the Pikes Lane area, which is now, uh, you know, the, the area which the ground w was on is now, you know, it's now housing, housing there, cobbles, cobble streets. Uh, a lot of kids go and play football there, kicking the football on. So it's quite appropriate in a way. So my aim and ambition, apart from obviously getting people to, you know, to, to, to find out more about Kenny by the book, which which I've written. Uh, is to is to get a, is to get a, a, a plaque put up for, for Kenny Davenport. It's a great time for Bolton Wanderers yeah. Football Club. You you found that information yeah. out. It's the 125th anniversary. Right, yes. They got Burnley next weekend, that's right, okay. and they've also got the the Nat Loftus statue that's that's yes. been built outside. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to see uh, that there's a statue put being put up. Uh, statues and. Is something I'm particularly interested in and very passionate about. I'm uh, close friends with Tom Murphy, who did the Dixie Dean and the Bill Shankly statues in, in in Liverpool. So I think it's I think it's fantastic that they are putting up a statue to the guy you know who also finished. He's one of the top five Bolton Wanderers players to finish top goal scorer in the league, along with you know Frank Worthington Smith from the 20s and, and other players be before that. So there there are five. So it's entirely appropriate that something is put up. To, 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 to Nat Lofthouse and you know it's and I mean the other thing is in terms of Bolton, Bolton's unless I'm mistaken I think Bolton's also the only town which has a pub which is named after a footballer as well so I mean the statue the first goal first goal at Wembley you know it's a pretty good record really I would say you know it's uh, one that people should 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 obviously be you know should be proud proud of I, I, I would say you know Marking the 125 year anniversary, we've got the, the opening weekend fixtures, the anniversary ones, and, and Bolton play Burnley in one of those fixtures. Yeah, you couldn't ask for much of a better start, could you, really? Uh, 
you know, good local rivals, two of the original members of the Football League. So that's a brilliant game and one I'm very much looking forward to.